Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Hope you are all well and safe. I took the last 15 minute paint challenge I did and decided to overpaint it and come up with something a little bit better, not more detailed necessarily, but a lot more information in it. So let's just have a look at how I got on. Okay, so this is a um, picture I did as a 15 minute paint challenge. It's just like the startings of a painting really. And I really need, I felt I needed to uh, do it justice and repaint it or paint over this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I painted all that on the background layer. I did not realize that. That's because it was a 15 minute challenge. Okay, I'm gonna go on to layer one. I'm gonna lock that background. And I'm gonna repaint this and see if I can come up with something that I'm really pleased with. And I'm gonna do the um, digital atelier pastel brushes for this. And I'm gonna take my time, just have a little bit of fun and uh, see what I can come up with hopefully I'll be chuffed with it when it's done let's find out let's just get straight into it eh? I'm working on the tree just sort of strengthening that up a little bit and I miss plant pots out and all sorts of things I've got this nice um, pastel blue plant pot that came in here so these flowers have all got to move. Totally lost what I was trying to do really. I think, to be honest with you, that was a monumental, monumental fail. Now I'm looking at it. I'm glad I've, I've decided to um, redo this. So I've got, I'm getting that pot in. Um, just bring it down the back of there a little bit. Maybe a little bit darker. And sort of lost almost into that. This we can I'm just sort of defining shapes a little bit more than what I'd got in the original one. Don't get me wrong, I still love doing the 15 minute challenges. I just felt that this subject deserved a bit more attention than it got with that 15 minutes, um, 15 minute painting. Already it's starting to uh, come to shape, I think. Well, putting a little bit of definition in. Oops, trying to get that perspective looking right. Don't need it all in, do we? Just a little bit, just a little bit in there. Maybe, there we go. I like what I did with the, um, using the purple. I felt that was, that was all right, so I can, Back in, maybe just take that. Oh, yes, use the finger. That'll do. Let's 
smudge that a little bit maybe it's a bit too big smudges i prefer it to be a little bit smaller than that that's it I still got this I've still got the smudge brush selected we are this to me feels like uh it's just m much better although I mean, I mean the goal is to keep this still looking impressionist and looks like it's been painted in a few minutes uh, that's where i want to kind of uh go with it i don't want to um make a, a, a super detailed painting at all that's not the goal i want to keep this sort of freshness going but at the same time add a little bit of detail to go with it sort of picking up colors so you can see all I've almost painted out all of these white flowers now this sort of blue plant pot well this blue pat plant pot in actual fat I know is a watering can a funky watering can go and then we've got this brown pot terracotta pot get sort of terracotta color do put that in there oh helicopter or something flying overhead I've got the um, door the patio door sliding doors open today because it's really it's quite warm in fact it's more than quite warm it is very warm so tweaking stuff as I go choose that color I've selected the color now I'm going to just make it a little bit darker do the same with the plant pot really select the color um, just choose a darker one of it thinner brush just to get the rim around the top this is just so much what was I thinking? Thinking I could do that painting in 15 minutes. It was a bit of a bit of um, a tall order, really. I think on reflection, I'll put a link. If you haven't seen it, I will put a link so you can go and uh, check that out. Um, you can see me stressing as I'm trying to complete it in 15 minutes which you know to be honest it was alright but it wasn't it was only part way there well you saw the painting you've just seen it because uh, I've just started to paint over it but, and it was it was the start of a painting but it was not finished this is looking so much better I couldn't leave it at that I didn't want you to think that was the the um, sum of my ability 
I won't say talent. I don't know how long I've been painting this. I've probably been working on it for 15 minutes already as it is. So there's four plum pots there, isn't there? And I've got three, but that normally wouldn't bother me one little bit to, to be honest. I quite like this green color. Where's it gone? There we are. But I want it lighter still. There we are. Uh. It's got a highlight on it, just there. The painting, uh, the reference, there's the reference image look, and uh, I've got it on another screen. So I'm, I'm working from, uh, you know, the full image on a different screen. So although you can't see it, uh, I can. Sorry about that. I'm using the pastel number nine oily brush. Oh, so apparently I am uh, doing an oil pastel. Did not know that. Let's change it then, just for the fun. Uh, this is a nice kind of funky sort of a brush that gives you some weird shapes and it's called the pastel number no. eight impact and i do like this need to shrink that brush down a bit and just put a few so you can get like a straight line or you can get a big mark all adding to detail whoops <sighs> yeah it is coming together it's coming together nicely a bit bigger brush and i'll put a pot kind of there got one here are oh, they they're black pots actually And we've got this grey one there a little bit. And we've got some red ones that are there. I've sort of uh, made the pots bigger, I guess, and uh, moved things around a bit. But that's okay. Because I want, you know, a decent subject to be working with. This branch is going to have to go uh, for now. It's in the way. Let's just um, just get rid of that for a second. There we are. I'm just using the alt key to uh, pick up colours and merge them in a little bit 
back to my green take the brush down again oh See, doing the 15 minute thing, I just did not have time to get in all this. I guess it is detail. Just very loose. There we are. We've got this lovely sort of purple, red color on these leaves here, which is really nice. I wanted to get that in. Um, yeah, and this just here, sort of just there. a bit darker as well just add some shadows and lines and things maybe even some highlights So you can see I'm not painting flowers or real shapes. I'm just sort of messing around with color, blending it out a little bit and letting you, letting your imagination tell you what the subject is. Softening off edges all the time. It's nice. One time a day, I didn't used to like doing I didn't like soft edges, and I was much more wanting to see every stroke of the brush as it went on. But these days, I'm much more, with pastels, I like to see that sort of softening and blending going on in there. It was this brush, wasn't it? The number eight impact brush. This is like a two step thing. So I've got a couple more pots in to go in as well, which I missed in the first drawing. like that purple under there I just think it just really adds to the the shadows I 
I'm going to use the blender. Try this one. What does this do? Soften that into there. Got to remember that that's on a separate layer. So um, I might need to put some more color. Color in there. And we've got this pot. I've not got the color of that pot right, have I really? Let's put this pot in here. Oh, that's too bright. Too bright, man. Try and get it in with a bold stroke. That's I like that as well. Just softening that up a little bit. Little. Little bit. Just pop some of these colors in here. We've got it reflecting in that window as well. It's not just that dark color. Breaking up that sort of grey there, really. Uh, but it also returns here. There's another window. If I paint over those branches, it doesn't matter because I can come back and do them again. That comes down quite a way, doesn't it? Because there's actually three windows there. Let's uh, smaller brush. Um, well, that might be an interesting color. I think I need this brush there. Sometimes you know you need more you need more than fifteen minutes. I don't know how long this is taking me. I don't I'm not intending to shorten this video, I think be nice to share the complete experience all the old painting
Hmm. Just think that needs something. Maybe that bit of dark under there might that might do it. It's all about shadows. Just keep popping in between. I think it needs this sort of dark green. Yeah, that like anchors this down. It was all floating a little bit somehow. Be careful, I don't lose it. Let's change me brush. This one might be quite interesting. Oh, I was doing this plant pot, wasn't I? And then, then I wasn't. I've got another one under here as well. So that pot comes down there like that. This brush isn't working for me. Let's just go back to this one. I think that's the oil brush. Oh no, soft torch. Hmm. Yeah, let's just try that for a little bit. That's quite nice, actually. Nice soft pastel. Yeah, that's got a, a quality to it that I quite like. That might be better for these because the softness gives that sort of sense of um, perspective that I wasn't getting. Maybe it might be a little bit too much. Yeah, that's just, but I do like the, the softness of it. So that was that one. Let's just come up with one of these uh, legacy. Number three, legacy pastel. That's nice. Because I just want something that's going to give not predictable. That's the word I'm looking for. Predictable brush strokes. more purple looking maybe there I've struggled with these a bit I think
yeah, that's it. That's kind of what I was looking for. Um, and I've, I've got them coming all the way up here, but they're not. Don't want them really. I want this sort of bring this in. Let's be. Put something in this plant pot here. And in there. That's all. Yeah, all that in. Trying to get the impression of shadows and things. So I'm going to start, um, whoops, in a second, putting these white flowers in, I think. I just, before I do, I just want to, some dark, a bit too dark, perhaps. Not if I tease it along. The all of the flower bed and keep it, keep this dark color low down. And that will sort of just anchor, anchor it a little bit, I think. If you grasses in there, perhaps that's something. Don't like that. Um, let's just pick that color and make that a bit lighter put a stroke two in there well it was lovely earlier on but now it's starting to rain uh, I've got my washing on the line so I've, I had to pause the video to fetch it in but that is the UK for you Hmm, yeah. Bringing those colors all over here. I keep saying it, but I, I am really glad that um, I chose to do this again.
Wow, it's proper raining now. Could pick that up there a little bit and just add a tiny little bit of dark. Got to be careful I don't make that too dark. Feel like these pinks and purples are coming together now i was trying to be too precise with them before and really you can't be you you've got to be a bit more treat them as a a bunch of flowers as one object try and get it in in as many or as sorry not as many as few strokes as you can Let's put some of these in. So we've got this blue. They actually come way up here. I totally got this wrong before. like it there we go And this has got a nice sort of yellow center. This flower. What's going off? There we are. I think it must have been uh, doing an auto save or something then. I can it. go 
I am so much happier with this painting than the first one I did. Well, like I say, the first one was just a challenge really, wasn't it? It wasn't exactly. Oops. Wasn't exactly a, a painting. So I have retained a few elements of the original, just a few, not too many. Pretty much kept the tree. Do I need, I'm just thinking now, do I need to, um, put a few sort of, Verticals in just there, maybe with a bit more stronger color, perhaps. Just to emphasize that, a little bit of a divide there. Yeah, I don't think that, that hurts. Just make sure it's not too linear. Right, I now need to um, just get these branches back in. Dark against light and light against dark. Hmm. I'll put a few more in. Sometimes less is more. I think that that's going to do it. I want a bit more. I, I'm not happy with this sort of dark here. Um, and then it sort of stops and really I like to when I'm painting dark areas I like to tie them all together so that it will sort of come up here and maybe just touch that but then we lose that little bit there no. Maybe that's too dark. I need to choose the blender as well and just give a few of these edges a little bit of a soften. I think that was on the original layer. All right, let me just sort of take a second. Oh, the cherries, the cherries. I need another branch. I'm just thinking I'd like to see a branch sort of coming in 
Got the blender selected. I have. Let's choose this one. I'd like to see a branch there. This is a nice brush. The Wibbly Lines um, brush. There we go. Notice I'm putting light against dark. So ideally, this needs to be a bit darker. Until it gets to there, see. And then I want to put these cherries in. I want a few cherries, so hanging off. I might need to uh, select it off the picker. There's not many of these cherries left now. The birds have eaten them all. There we go. And just they are on sort of I'm putting detail in that's a bit bizarre for me do I need any more leaves in I think some darker leaves up here let's try it with this wibbly wobbly brush I don't like that. I think I need to change my brush. That's it, just so I can uh, actually be in control. I don't know if I like that. I think I like that sort of looseness of these brush strokes here. But it's just got an indication of a leaf, maybe, rather than trying to get in there and draw every one. There we go. We'll get in there. Losing my sig I'm going to try and keep that original signature there if I can. There's something not right. Here. This sort of all finishes a bit abrupt. You know what? I can't keep that signature there, it ain't gonna happen. I think this is why I wasn't happy with the dark. It needed to go under there. Like that. Now I can select this again and just mix up the colour a little bit.
Well. Well, I'm just sort of breaking up that edge, it stops that looking so boxy. I do want this bit of purple in here. I just think this all adds, adds to the overall effect. So I've got a bit of soil going off there, which is, you know, a bit a bit better, I think. Let's put us just put a few softening. I could put some branches in there if I wanted, but I think I just think it will totally totally not work Got the shadow of those leaves there. Just a little bit. Where do you stop? That's the thing. I think we're there i do although having said that i can just see now i can just put a little bit of shadow oh, some of those flowers Uh, purple colour. There we are. So I've gone from. Let's sign it. Let me sign it first. Do it over here. Um, a little bit stronger pencil than that. Oh, whoa, too much, man. There we go, Steve Elliott. So I've moved the signature over to the other side. I have gone from that, which is my 15 minute paint challenge, to that. So, you know, I still think the paint challenges are really valuable because a it sort of inspired me to want to um paint this anyway do it again and it sort of put the seeds of ideas in my head on how things were going to um, look so keep doing the challenges if you're doing them uh, they're very valuable but uh, once again from uh, that to that i really hope you've enjoyed this video as much as i've enjoyed painting it i do mean that because i really have had 
a lot of fun doing this one uh, if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because i have lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them with you and don't forget everybody keep painting and stay safe and stay sane as well and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye